Hi everyone, Dominique Legrand, Product Manager for CB Watch 3. I'm here in Lisbon, Northern Ireland Head Office, and today we're going to talk about why there is so much interest in circuit breaker monitoring. And I'm going to give you six reasons why this interest is becoming more apparent with our customers. The first reason is circuit breakers are critical pieces of equipment. They have two roles. One is to protect the equipment by disconnecting the power, and the second role is to reroute the power through your substation. So, for example, if you're trying to isolate a transformer, you rely on circuit breaker. If you're trying to reroute the power to avoid an overload situation, you rely on circuit breakers. So they have a critical role to play in the substation. And failure for the circuit breaker to operate creates the most problems. Um, they have an impact on the assets you're trying to save and also on the reliability figures because you have to go to secondary protection and increases the uh, duration of the outage that ensues. So critical pieces of equipment. The second point is dependability is the key. While with transformers, the cost of the asset is such that we are trying to save the transformer at all costs. This is not the case with circuit breakers. The cost of a circuit breaker is at least an order of magnitude lower than the transformer. And therefore, the saving the asset is not why we monitor circuit breaker. We monitor circuit breaker to ensure that they operate because otherwise the consequences of them not operating are what we're trying to prevent. The third aspect is that circuit breaker require maintenance. Contrary to transformer, they really didn't require a lot of maintenance. Circuit breakers have got moving parts at high speed with great acceleration and vibration. And to keep them running, you need to do some maintenance. That goes from greasing the bearing to general inspection of the linkage and looking for springs and things like that. So they are regular interval inspection and regular overalls that are required. And on top of that, regularly the circuit breakers are tested for speed and to make sure that they meet the requirements and open within the required time. Circuit breaker's key role is also to interrupt the arc. For this, they use SF6 gas that must be refilled and special contacts that must be kept in good condition. Again, that's more maintenance. So utilities are looking to optimize their maintenance costs by moving to condition-based maintenance, in other words, doing the maintenance where you really need to do it, rather than on the time-based or in the number of operation-based maintenance. Driving to reduce the cost of this maintenance and to extend the intervals between which the equipment is offline is one of the key drivers for circuit breaker monitoring. And of course, unnecessary inspections is never good because it uses labors, creates downtime, but even from the fact that it opening up a circuit breaker means you have to replace the seals and you introduce the risk of gas leaks by just performing an inspection. So overall, it's something to be avoided and circuit breaker maintenance can help you with this. Reason number four is that circuit breakers are getting older and less reliable. The average age of the circuit breaker in the US is greater than 25 years old. Many are over 40 years old and therefore they use technologies that are inherently less reliable things like pneumatic or hydraulic drive that tend to leak. So they require more maintenance to keep them going and are inherently less reliable than more modern circuit breaker. Now utilities would love to replace them, but like everyone else, don't have enough cash to do that. So they need to keep them going. That's why circuit breaker monitoring comes into play. So with these assets getting older, um, reliability becomes a key point. Yeah. Making sure that the circuit breaker will operate when required is one of the key things that operators are looking for. And the other aspect is getting good data to be able to identify the circuit breaker that they should replace first um, amongst all the others uh, with their limited capex that they have to use every year. Reason number five is SF6 gas. Nowadays, most high voltage circuit breakers use SF6 gas to extinguish the arc. It's a very good gas, it's got very good dielectric properties. Unfortunately, it's not very good for the environment. If you compare it to CO2, 
it's got 28,000 times the warming power of CO2. So that's not very good. Fortunately, we don't use very much and we keep track of it. But it means that um, today the price of SF6 gas is going up and many countries have put in extra penalties if you exceed certain barriers uh, for purchasing extra gas due to leaks. So the cost of a leak is doubly prohibitive from the cost of the gas and from the penalties that are applied in some countries. Most countries have put in place emission targets for SF6 and are trying to abide by those targets which are reducing every year. So utilities have got a reporting requirements about all their SF6 usage, but the big problem is finding out leaks early so that the, those leaks can be plugged before all the SF6 is released to the atmosphere and therefore you have to buy more and pay penalties. And lastly, reason number six is integration with APM strategies. Most utilities around the world are implementing or have implemented some sort of asset performance management strategy. What those strategies drive to is understanding the situation with their asset, the health that they have, and the risk that they bring, and trying to optimize the capex and opex budget every year to maintain those assets and keep them operational. It all started with transformer monitoring, and now it's moving to the next biggest asset, which is the circuit breaker. Fortunately, there are about four times as many circuit breakers as uh, transformer, but studies have showed for utilities that they do cause quite a fair number of problems within their switchyard, and therefore they're focusing on those next after the transformers. So monitoring transformers and circuit breakers, as far as the APM strategy, that's your sixth driver for monitoring circuit breakers. So here we are. The six reasons why circuit breaker monitoring is becoming more and more interesting. Let's recap. Number one, circuit breakers are critical pieces of equipment. Number two, dependability is the key. Number three, many circuit breakers are becoming older and less reliable. Number four, utilities want to try and optimize the maintenance of those circuit breakers, which is quite demanding. Number five, we are pushed by SF6 gas emission laws to understand how much SF6 we're emitting. And number six, we need to integrate circuit breakers with the rest of the APM strategy to understand asset management. So here we have it. I hope this presentation has been interesting and we look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.